Hi there, everybody. It is I, Random Robin, and we are back with seven deadly dates. So we have dated three of the girls so far, and we are about to meet our fourth one. So actually, here's what we're going to do here. Uh, yeah, go to the title. Yeah, it's fine. Um, okay, because I want to show you guys. So we've met Ailish and got her good ending. We met Belle and got a not too good ending. Apparently it's a secret ending, but not a bad ending. So I get to live on, but no eyeballs. <laughs> and then we got her ending, uh, Monica's. And basically, we end up dating, but at the same time, we break up. But at, and then, but it still leads to me winning because I become the richest man on the planet. So, works for me. <laughs> we have four more to go. So I don't know which one is next because they're not lined up in order on the screen. And I'm gonna tell you, once I meet a certain one, that one was destined from before the game was released. So, let's go. Yes, skip the tutorial. These like okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Alish, I like you, but we're skipping now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yay! Belle, you're cute. For a little bug bug girl who is actually eating my eyeballs, you're cute, but uh peace. I love bugs. Yeah, she loves bugs. By the way, just so you know, she loves bugs. Especially how they taste. Monica, you have some of the most baller music so far. But, uh, I've already become the richest man once, so moving on. Time is money. Uh, you came to me. Hmm. You are not a demon. You're an angel. Uh, Lucy. Is that like a reference to Luciel? I feel there's an angel named Luciel. Also, very bright design for hell. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Alright. Hello there, your angel has arrived. A creature sent down from above to help guide your way. As you know, angels are the most beautiful and amazing creatures ever known to man. Why are you in hell? Aren't I so elegant and amazing? You think so, right? Man, it's pretty hot down here, though. Or maybe it's just me. They should turn the air conditioner on. So someone as beautiful as myself doesn't break a sweat, of course. That's a good question. I'm already annoyed by you. <laughs> this is the first time I've gotten five answers. All right, um, she is kind of nice looking, but I am curious what she's doing in hell. Uh, I feel like this is probably a good idea. Yes. Finally, someone who's truly aware. I think you humans call it woke. Yeah, that's another word I've I've learned from the internet. Anyway, I'm already aware I was born beautiful. It's too much for your mortal eyes, isn't it? My true beauty is actually unable to be handled by humans. That's why I have to use a form like this. I would change in my true form, but uh, you see, I can't right now. I mean. I don't want to take away from the atmosphere in this bar. You're an angel in a demon bar. I think you're already doing that. As soon as I enter my true form, well, everyone here would be too mesmerized to do their own speed dating. Anyway, let me tell you a bit more about how amazing I am. I have so many traits that make me truly the greatest. Okay, so she thinks she's the best thing since toilet paper. I've already discerned her uh, personality. Not a fan, but we're going to make this work because I want to get a good ending with her. <laughs> I at least want to have, you know, I want to be, I want to feel like I'm in heaven for once. <laughs> I'm so beautiful and fabulous, elegant and kind, forgiving and pure-hearted. I am the pinnacle of what the most perfect of perfect angels are like. I'm just going to back out of here real quick. <laughs> nah. I embody the very essence of angelic grace. Uh, yawn. <laughs> Applaud. Here, I'll applaud anyway and skip having to answer that. Uh, go on, I want to hear more about you. Yes. Of course I'm you do. Sure. Yeah, the she said it, not me. There's so much I love about me. I love how when I wake up, my hair is perfect. I love how people always stare at me with pure love and adoration. 
I love how I make everyone's lives better just by existing. Ugh. God. I hate it. Truly, there'd be no meaning to life without me. Like, I talk a big game, but I know I'm full of shit. This girl does not understand herself. I love how I have impeccable taste in clothes, and food, and people, and quite literally everything. Everything about you is just perfect, huh, honey? Especially people, since my favorite person is me. I love how people's jaws drop when I walk in the room. I love how many friends I have. Everyone loves me. I truly am the greatest. I love how... You already said it, but I'm going to say it again. I love how I am truly the greatest. I love how good my artistic skills are. The, okay, now you're just calling yourself out, huh? Uh, what is it? Myth, myth, myth of Kiwi? Huh? <laughs> She's shouting herself out, which is funny. Real talk, though. Uh, I, I feel I'm forgetting how I say this right. Myth of Kiwi, Pearl Orange, all he is. Love, the, love your work. I've... Ever since I did, ever since I played Lost Girl, Lovecraft, and now this one, love it. Keep it up. <laughs> love everything you've done so far. The designs are always so nice to look at. I love how great I am at developing games. I love how good I am at voice acting. I truly am the greatest. I love how much I love saying I'm the greatest. <laughs> oh man, there's so much to love about me. But wait, there's more! I love how good I am at coming up with lists about things I love about myself. Oh my Christ. I God, your an the angel you sent to me is quite interesting, but can I please have another one? I love how I'm always the prettiest person in the room. I love how great I am at describing things. I love how I have an amazing sense of... But someone who's depressed needs to talk to this girl and learn how to talk, talk yourself up or something. I'm telling you. You say all the kind of stuff she says about herself, and you will no longer be depressed. You just repeat her list every day about yourself, and you will be the happiest person on the planet because you will believe you are the greatest thing ever, and you will no longer be depressed. There's the cure right there, folks. You, you heard it here. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm almost not joking about that, by the way. I feel if you sat there and talked like she does and just praise yourself on everything all day, every day, you would eventually no longer be depressed. Sadness would not be something you know. <laughs> so this is pride, obviously. So the, the, each one is based off of each deadly sin. We have, we've met lust, gluttony, greed. This is pride. So there's still... What are we still... What ones are we still missing then? We're still missing... Sloth. Sloth. Envy. You know, I've watched Full Metal Alchemist. You'd think I would have these on the top of my head. Is Wrath one? Wrath and Pride are... Yeah, no, Wrath and Pride are separate. Because it's Vanity. Pride, Vanity. And then Wrath is the final one. I think the one I'm looking forward to seeing is the one who embodies Wrath. I love how I have an amazing sense of direction and never get lost. Yet, you're an angel in hell. I love how I have an amazing memory. Uh, what was the next thing I was going to say? <laughs> and then she doesn't remember. Anyway, I love how I have an IQ of over 9,000. It's over 9,000! <laughs> Should I just stop? Should I just stop doing what I do? You already said this one. I love how generous and kind I am. I love how I'm so much fun to talk to that you wanted to hear all of this on your own volition. I love, hey, you're not just skipping through all of this, are you? I love how this list about how great I am is so long. I love it when I talk. I love my voice. It's like an angel's voice. Oh, wait. It is. <laughs> I love how I'm so funny and quirky like that. I love how much better I am than mortals. I love how much better that I am than everyone. I love how amazing and unique I am. Girl, can I say one word? I love how considerate I am. I love how I have such a positive... Again! 
repeat this to yourself. Take everything she's listed that actually can comply to you. Like, let's say you don't develop video games. Don't use that one. Use the ones that can actually apply to you. And just keep repeating them to yourself. Over and over and over and over and over again. And you will probably be a happy person. <laughs> I truly am the greatest. You'll start saying that. And then you'll become conceited. And a dick. <laughs> but then you won't be sad anymore. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I love how I'm just so unquestionably perfect. Wait, isn't that enough? But I'm not done. I love... I think I've heard enough. What? You don't want to hear me talk about myself? No, no, no. I just think that the unspoken things about you are the most perfect and amazing. They don't need to be said because they're so obvious. Oh, right, of course. I don't need to list everything because everyone already knows it all. Girl. I like how my character found a way to shut her up, though. He's like, look, you're so amazing, you don't gotta tell me you're amazing. I can see it. <laughs> I can hear it. I wonder, however. Do you believe in love at first sight? Obviously do, because you've seen me, correct? You've seen how absolutely stunning and fabulous I am? Actually, my friends told me about a word that perfectly describes how great I am. I am a very, very... Virtriolic angel. They told me that meant unquestionably the most amazing and kind-hearted isn't that so amazing I truly am the greatest. right it seems like it a bit sidetracked love it for sight you believe in it right sure but not towards you <laughs> no, no, no i want i want i want the ending to each of them so yeah yes yes of course you do after seeing me there's truly no other person you could look at correct everyone else pales in comparison to my beauty and radiance Oh, she didn't say it. Ah, yes, indeed. Did she just say you're welcome to me after complimenting yourself? I'm so glad you think I'm so amazing. Truly, I am. I love those who admire me. It's an easy thing to do, but I love everyone equally regardless. As long as they think I'm truly the greatest. One-sided. My mistress, you truly... You, you are truly the apple of my eye. <laughs> I can either just applaud her... Or, I'm very surprised I have not did it yet. <laughs> nah, yeah, you are the apple of my eye, girl. Yes. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I know how to win this one. <laughs> Although, I must say, if I wasn't the apple of your eye before, that'd be very embarrassing for you. I mean, to mistaken me for someone who isn't the very best, that would be a very dumb mistake. <laughs> but yes, thank you for your praise that I am overly worthy of. I wonder, there's probably a bad ending with her where she murders you because you don't, you start talking shit to her. <laughs> you can say a few more praises if you want. I won't be mad. I'm so generous and kind. I truly am the greatest. Ah, uh, this date has been so incredibly fun and all, but I wonder when they'll let me back home. You know, it's kind of weird. How I got here in the first place, I mean. Yeah, tell me how. This kind of place is obviously not suited for a creature of as grandiose as I. My friends, before I came to this place, they were like... You're being banished. Get out of here, fallen. Wow. This is why you have no friends. You need you need to go. Your ego needs to get checked. What needs to be checked? I have no pet named ego. They're so strange. <laughs> I can just applaud. <laughs> How dare someone talk to my angel that way? I can see why you don't have... I... <laughs> I'm just gonna say... Yeah, yes. yeah I, I know how to get get into her good side. I'm just... It's its hilarious the answers I could say. <laughs> they were very rude, but they taught me many things. I'm grateful for having them in my life. I think. Anyway, mm -hmm. I am so tragic. My life has been so difficult up to this point. But someone... Even her stance is like... Praise me. <laughs> but someone as great as I can always work through it. I'm truly the greatest. You know, I'm a little jealous of you right now getting to speed date me since I'm <laughs> she she thinks she's so great she wish she could date herself <laughs> and since I'm so considerate and thoughtful I will not permit you to tell me how great speed dating me has been you are such a narcissist listen to, listening to you talk makes me happy yes. of course it does <laughs> that's to be expected I mean what other reaction could I have I gotten truly am the greatest. <sighs> whoo I'm going to be glad when this one's done, to be honest. <laughs> also, okay, 
this has not even led to an ending yet, and this one's already taking longer than, like, the first session I did. <laughs> this is going so well right now. This is the longest anyone's talked to me for a long time. Yeah, I would have, uh, bailed out immediately earlier. Usually, if I had known, <laughs> I would have been out. <laughs> Usually by this point, they walk away without saying goodbye. How rude. But you're not rude. You must really like me, huh? My ears hurt. <laughs> I adore you. You're she, her voice said, you're welcome. But she herself said, thank you, thank you. Please praise me more. Worship my very presence. You're already doing a great job. Why stop there? You truly are the greatest. Yes. I'd like to officially hire you as my number one follower. I think you've done a great job entertaining me today. That settles it. We are now officially dating. I have no interest in dating you. I'm not entirely sure about that. Yes, but I think we need to talk first. Okay. Since you said yes, I guess we can talk. We're talking about how great I am, right? Right? Yeah, so... <laughs> okay. I like, I like this. Begrudgingly. Lucy begrudgingly listens to you lightly lecture her on her massive ego and narcissistic personality. She appears to brush it off, but you can tell by her slightly dejected expression that she has taken a little bit of it to heart. You consider this a step in the right direction. You quit Latin to give Lucy empathy classes. <laughs> so this time we're working on making her a better person. Oh my god. Like, like I said, I've talked a big game about myself before. Like, I'll walk up and say, yeah, what up? I'm cool. I'm the best. I know it's not true. Like, it's fine to talk it up, but unless you can really back it up, don't be like her. Don't, don't be like her. <laughs> don't be so prideful that you're an angel. You got, don't be such a prideful angel that you get knocked out of heaven for being so narcissistic. You know what I'm saying? I had to quit my Latin classes to give her empathy classes. <laughs> this is also the longest episode because she would just not stop. <laughs> so far, I'm getting all the good endings. Like, maybe I'll do, like, a speed run of this and get all, try and get all the worst endings. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the show. If you like it, hit the like button. If you have any suggestions for games or want to say hello, leave it in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed already, uh, you could show how much, um, how amazing I am by doing so. You know, it, it would be obvious if you did. Like, I'd be like, yo, that makes sense. But, you know, it, it's always better when you do it instead of just saying, saying how cool I am. You know, just show me how cool I am because I already know I'm cool. I just like, I like, I like to see when people confirm it. <laughs> anyway, until next time. Have a good one.